guys, I just finished reacting to the Avengers Infinity War parody trailer, and I just saw me some Thor Runner, and I thought it was about time to do another 66 review. So, you wanna talk some Thor? Then let's get to it. Ragnarok! Ragnarok! Thor comes back in his hammer, for gets thrown in the trash, and it says, God, show! Alright, then. So, Ragnarok, the next chapter in the Kaiku Unicorn, that answers the question, where is Thor and Hulk doing that whole civil war thing? Where have they been? While Tony and Cab were fighting over Apple vs. Andre, Thor was captured by the Ragnarok and was hanged in chains, and then the response to this whole giant comedy show sci-fi adventure about the new threat hello who comes to take Asgard and destroy everyone who gets in her way. It sounds a really serious movie, but it's Ragnarok's a straight up comedy. Taika Woody has dropped a one of the funniest Marvel movies today, which will make you love or hate this one. If you're looking for some emotional depth, you came to the wrong place. If you want to have time, great time in the Kankles, Ragnarok should bring you loads of enjoyment. So go check it out. So now I've given my endorsement. Let's talk some spoilers. Spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. I can't believe it. Jane and Thor get back together. I'm kidding. That totally cannot happen. Because she dumped her story after the last film. What did I like about the movie? I already said I like the comedy. I like the music. I like the new characters. And I liked all the colors. What did you think of the story? The story felt just like the original Thor movie. To me and that Thor gets cast down to an unfamiliar land. He has to live without his hammer, he meets the hot girl, and then he has to go back to Asgard, and then he gets back to Asgard and fights a family member on the Raymond Bridge. It's exactly the same movie. The differences are what makes the movie funny. And Hulk's in it, and he has a hot girlfriend who's an awesome warrior, so it's better. But the persons aren't the same, like Planet Sakaar, Hulk, Loki, those are what the makes the movie shine. What did you think of the new cast? I like all the new characters for the most part. I like the Grand Master Jeff Blum and how he calls Thor Sparkles. I like Carl Ulbricht as Scourge and how he has two M16s from Texas. And I really like Valkyrie as the lone Arts Guardian warrior who sort of lost weight. She's also possibly a love interest for Thor. They, should, they want you guys to think of that in the movie. What did you think of the Hulk? I like the Hulk. I really like the fight scene with Thor, and I like what they have set up in this movie about the duality of Banner and Hulk in this film. It showed the impact of Black Widow had on Banner, and I like the, that they kept the, the sounds really, the sounds getting low, a part of him. Did you like the Doctor Strange cameo? I was a bit disappointed in Doctor Strange being barely any more than its own credit scene in this film. They sort of hinted that he would be more important to this plot, but instead, he's just like, Allow me to help you. Straight through the doorway. Alright, then. Anyway. Thanks for coming. I really enjoyed the movie, and I laughed a lot. I kept thinking, what? This movie is supposed to be funny, or a bit more serious. In the, in the movie, they should have more emotion. Like, to own his dad. This part felt stiff at times, and I thought it was a crucial point of the movie, so they should have more emotion to it. But what's the point? The story seems to deal with troubled past, selfish ruler, like Loki pretending to be Odin on Asgard, where he puts a statue on his honor. The Grand Master rules over the car, saying nobody could leave this place. It's all about my music. Hela takes over Asgard and rules the Asgard's origins aren't honorable either. The only solution in the end is revolution. They have to destroy the foundation and start over when they learn the truth. They have to move on as a new family because Asgard is not a place. It's a people. But beyond all that, the overall, I think the move, the point was to be entertaining. And that's not always the bad thing. Yeah guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button. Sorry this video is late. I was working on it for a very long time. If you guys haven't checked out yesterday's video where I reacted to the official first trailer of 
Avengers Infinity War. Please go check that out. If you haven't seen the last movie before, Spider-Man Homecoming, don't forget to check that out too. This is TikTok with this guy. Signing out. <laughs>